What is up guys and welcome back to my channel and today we're having a look at something that came out today and great news about the rugby gaming in the future. So today we have got the Rugby Challenge 3 demo and this is Slash the Fan App. So pretty much in this you can't play any games or anything like that but what we can see is what they have in the game though. So obviously with this you can see already there you can create a 15s or a 7s side so obviously they have 7s which is great and if you have a look in this um, I will show you the teams and the kits a bit later on but they have licensing for England, South Africa, Australia and New Zealand most of this information if you haven't seen was on the Scottish Cannons channel earlier today and you'll be able to check that out and yeah um, that should be in the description below if you haven't seen that already and pretty much there's also going to be beer pro mode and other things like that uh, which is very very exciting and what I'm going to do today is just show you all of the teams and you can see the badges going across here so all of the teams that are licensed and some of them are not I'm just going to tell you about that and also I'm going to show you all the teams kits as well so pretty much just to talk the licensing they have got They've got England, South Africa, Australia and New Zealand. They've got licensing for all of them. And they've also got sevens, all the sevens licensing for those four as well. The, the, um, the club stuff, they've got the Viva Premiership. They've got all of Super Rugby now, which is great. And um, they've got ITM Cup, they've got Curry Cup and they've got the Australian equivalent of that. I'm not sure what that's called, but they have that as well. Things they haven't got, which they've kind of lost um, from before. So they've lost... Um, Pro 12, so Irish, Welsh and Scottish League, they've lost that, they didn't have any licensing for that. Um, we've also lost the top 14 in France and I don't think the, the Pro 12 is on here. But the, the good thing about this though, they do still have those teams, obviously like Glasgow and Edinburgh, um, Ospreys and stuff like that, just they're not licensed, but I don't think there's a Pro Div 2 there might be I'm not really sure I don't really know the teams in it so I didn't think there was but that's a bit disappointing they've lost the licensing for that otherwise they pretty much would have had a full game there with every single team being completely licensed that dis that's a bit disappointing but on this app you can create teams uh, create sevens teams you can create players and you can put them on so other people can um, I don't know if you can download them I haven't really tried that out yet but you have to make an account and you would download them or whatever I'm not really sure what you do there but um, so yeah pretty much I'm, uh, I'm gonna go through all the badges you see here and then I'm gonna go through all the kits that would be quite exciting and I haven't seen all the stadiums I forgot to do that but I'm assuming there's quite a few I haven't actually seen um, and yeah, so pretty much I'll get back to you when we get to the end of the video after you've seen all the kits and the badges.
so there we go so there's all the kits and the badges and pretty much what I just wanted to show you here quick was how you would add people in pretty much they have most of the players some of the ratings are a bit off at the moment like Blizzmark Jupiter sees like a 71 overall which I thought was a bit odd and stuff like that so I just showed you that you'd add them in the team and they have the value which they would get on career mode um, and it's nice to see that Andrew Horse still overrated and OP as fuck on Ruby Challenge games. So um, that's pretty much that's going to be the end of the episode and the video up here. So um, if you guys have enjoyed, please do leave a like. Make sure you do go and download it. It'll be down in the well, it won't be down in the description because I don't know how to link Steam stuff. But pretty much, just go on Steam, type in um, rugby, and you'll find it quite quickly. Anyway, if you guys have enjoyed, please do leave a like, and I'll see you guys whenever this game comes out hopefully and that'll be great and I'll be uploading another episode of my rugby uh, my rugby union players in the NFL coming soon so thanks very much for watching guys and I'll see you guys next time